Jainism, a religion which was born in India, concentrated largely in Bihar, Bengal, Orissa, Gujarat, Rajasthan, in parts of Bombay and in the state of Karnataka. There are more than 3 million Jains in India, forming almost the smallest sections among the various religious groups. Originating in the Indian subcontinent, the Jaina Dharma is one of the oldest religions of its homeland and indeed of the world. Jainism has prehistoric origins dating before 3000 BC and even before the beginning of Indo-Aryan culture. Jains are the followers of Jina. Jina literally means conqueror who has conquered love and hate, pleasure and pain, attachment and aversion, and has thereby freed her soul from the karmas obscuring knowledge, perception, truth and ability. The Jain belief is that this religion is evolved by the effort of 24 Tirthankaras or finders of path who lived in different times. These Tirthankaras preached the principles of love, ahimsa and fraternity and are believed to embody in them thousand and eight qualities. So the title Shri Thousand Eight is prefixed before their names. Jains deny the existence of a creator god, but they believe in Tirthankaras and follow their path. The fundamental principle of Jainism is the doctrine of two eternal, co-existing, independent categories of consciousness called Jiva and Ajiva. Jains follow the path of Ahimsa in their deeds. They also follow Anegandavada through their thoughts, which means the mentality to see a thing from different angles and to accept it. Jainism in its complete form is not the work of one prophet, but Mahavira is held in the highest esteem as he completed the work and really set its principles and was also responsible for its growth. The two main sects in Jainism are the Digambara and the Shvetambara. In the past, Jainism had a very strong hold in different parts of India. The successors of Jainism was largely dependent on the royal patronage of the then kings. Many kings were Jain believers and they did their best for the growth and development of Jain religion. The Jain religion came to south in the 3rd century BC on account of a great famine in North India. According to Jain traditions, it was Chandragupta Maurya who played the important role in spreading Jainism in South India. The advent of Jainism in Kerala was from Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. The ancient history of Kerala proves the existence of Jainism here. Relics of many old Jain temples have been found in the different parts of Kerala. Among them, Vayanad is the most important place. It is the most Jain populated area in Kerala. Vayanad Home to exotic legends, ancient ruins, mysterious mountain caves, aboriginal tribes, hidden treasures, tree houses, jungle trails and exotic wildlife. 
Kerala's Wayanad district is the perfect setting for a thousand great adventures. A beautiful hill station situated about 700 to 2100 meters above mean sea level, dominated by the Western Ghats, one of the world's last surviving tracts of tropical biodiversity. Wayanad's terrain is characterized by extensive stretches of wildlands. The Kannada speaking people in Wayanad are known as Jains. They belong to the Digambara sect. Jainism here was in its peak during the days of Hoysala dynasty. Hoysala kings promoted Jainism and they sent many missionaries to the different parts to spread Jainism. By the end of 16th century, the religion became too weak because of the increasing influence of the Hindu religion and the invasion of Shaiva Vaishnava religions. During this time, many Jain temples were destroyed and some of them were possessed by Hindus. There are many other Jain temples here in Vainar which possess a great historical importance. Sri Shandinath Swami Temple Venue. This is one of the oldest Jain temples of Vainar. It is believed to be 1000 years of old. The main pratishtha here is Sri 1008 Shantinath Tirthankara, 16th among 24 Tirthankaras. The temple was run and managed by the hereditary Urulans or hereditary custodians. Tare Vittu Sri Shantiraj Taragan, Sri Brahmasuri Taragan, Sri MPC Jain, Sri Devaraj Taragan. These Urulans handed over the temple to a 12 member trust in 1955. The Panjagalyana Pratishtha Mahol Sava which includes Garbhavadarana, Janmabhishega, Diksha Kalyana, Kevalak Jnana and Moksha Kalyana was done in 1928 under the leadership of Sargur Shri Chandra Sagar Swamiji. He played an important role in spreading Jainism in Vaina, mainly concentrating Venue. A Jain temple usually consists of a Naga Pratishtha and a Kshetra Pala. Naga Pratishtha is worshipped on the belief that once Patmavadi Devi became a snake with nine heads and protected Pashunada Swami from the attack of Kamata, who came to break his prayers. This pratishtha is usually situated just behind the Kshetra Pala. The Kshetra Pala is considered as the protector of the temple. It belongs to the Vendra Deva section of Devadas. It is usually an idol carved out of stone and is situated in the left-hand side of the temple. The Jain temple also consists of a Manastamba, Ashtadik Palas and a Balikali. Sri Pashunada Swami Temple, Palukunna. The Pratishtha here is Sri 1008 Pashunada Tirthankara, 23rd among the 24 Tirthankaras.
This is a very old temple which possesses a great history behind its origin. It is believed that hundreds of years ago the place where the present temple situates was a lonely mountain area with thick forests. There was a small village near to this mountain. The villagers used to sell their cows for grazing in the nearby areas. One among these cows was often missing when it was set out for grazing, but it would return back in the late evening or night. This continued for a long period of time. The villagers decided to find where this cow goes. One day, they followed the cow and reached the nearby mountain. There, they saw a shocking and unbelievable scene. The cow was pouring milk by itself over an ant hill. The villagers decided to find the secret behind this. When they checked the ant hill, they found a small statue of Pashunada Tirthankara there. Then onwards, they started worshipping this Pratishta and named the place Palukun. In Malayalam, Palu means milk and Kunu means mountain. Thus, the mountain on which the cow poured milk got the name Palukun. There is another history that during the time of Tipu Sultan, he came here and destroyed the temple and dropped the statue of Pashunada Swami into the nearby river, which is now called the Panamaran River or Kabini River. The present building was constructed in the year 1947 and new Pratishta of Pashunada Tirthankara was brought from Karnataka. Jain Temple, Sultan Bateri. This is an ancient Jain temple situated near Sultan Bateri town. It is supposed to have been built around 8th century AD. The old name of this temple was Kidangar Basti. The temple was destroyed and then taken over by Tipu Sultan and used as the battery for his army. The history tells that the older name of Sultan Bateri was Hanarudu Bidi, which means 12 streets. The name suggests that there were 12 well organized streets and it was the center of chains. Thus, Jains paved the way for the social life in Vaina. The Vaina Jain community conducts a Navakalasha Panjamrita Abhishega Puja at this temple on the occasion of Mahavir Jayanti every year. This temple is now under the possession of Archaeology Department of India which repaired it in the year 1996. The two old and dilapidated ruins of ancient Jain temples are found near to Panamaram. They are believed to be centuries old. This ruin is situated near to Puttanangadi Jain Temple.
The second ruin is on the Panamaram Nirvaram Road. These two remains are believed to be the Jain temples of olden days. The scriptures and the wall carvings proves this fact. These ruins are studied by archaeologists of India and certified it as a Jain shrine. Sri Chandranada Swami Temple, Puttanagadu. This is another oldest Jain temple of Vainat. The Pradishta here is Sri 1008 Chandranada Tirthankara, 8th among the 24 Tirthankaras. According to archaeological findings, this Jain temple dates back to the 8th century AD. This place was originally known as Manikapuram and was supposed to be a center of trade in gems and pearls. Many businessmen from the parts of Karnataka came here for selling their goods. In course of time, the name was changed to Muttangadi and now as Puttanagadi. Another history is that during the days of Tipu Sultan, he came here and ordered the soldiers to destroy the temple and throw the Pratishta into the pond nearby. Three thousand eight Chandranada Giri Adishet Shetram Mailadi Para. This temple is situated on the top of a single huge rock called Mailadi Para near Kalpata. This is the site of one of the ancient Jain temples in Vaina. There was a huge idol of Chandranada Tirthankara which was worshipped in earlier times. This idol was destroyed by miscreants and only remnants of it remain today. Still, the worship is continued here by conducting several pujas on the occasion of special days in the Jain calendar. The renovation works of this temple is developing now under the presidentship of Sri M.P. Vasant Kumar. A number of caves are situated behind the rock which is reported to have been used by medicants in earlier times.
ಶ್ರೀ ಅನಂತನಾಥ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಪುಲಿಯಾರ್ ಮಲ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಜೈನ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಯನಾಡ್ The Pratishtha here is Shri Thousand Eight Anandanada Tirthankara, 14th among 24 Tirthankaras. This temple was originally situated in a place called Kalpavati or Old Kalpata. It was managed by the Urulan Shri Payyapataragan, after whom the management was taken over by Shri P.C. Mandapa Gaudar in 1926 who formed a trust to manage the temple in 1931. This temple, which was dilapidated, was shifted and newly constructed at a place called Anandakrishnapuram and Panjagalyana Pratishta Mahol Sava was conducted in 1933 under the leadership of late Shri Maniangoda Krishna Gauda. A cave is found near to this temple which is believed to be used by the Jain monks in the olden days. Sri Adishwara Swami Temple, Manandavadi. The temple is supposed to be centuries old. The Pratishta here is Sri Thousand Eight Vrishabhanada Tirthankara, the first among the 24 Tirthankaras. In the year 1960, the Heritree Castellian, late Shri D. Patmarash Tarevan, handed over the temple to a trust with Shri Palukunda Chandraya Gauda as president. The temple was renovated in 1958 and Panchakalyana Pratishta Mahotsava was conducted. Unlike other Jain temples, the Naka Pradishta of this temple is situated just in front of the Chetrapala. Shri Anandanada Swami Temple, Varadun The Pratishta here is Shri Thousand Eight Anantanada Tirthankara, 14th among the 24 Tirthankaras. This temple was originally situated at Arapata near Echo. It was shifted to Kottavaya and from there again to its present place near Varadu in the year 1964. The temple was constructed under the leadership of late Shri B.K. Barthamana Gauda. Panjagalyana Pratishta Mahotsava of this temple was conducted in the year 1977 when the present idol was installed. inscription found here reads Lalitapan son of Karnataka king came to Vainar 300 years ago and donated many valuable things to all the Jain temples here
ശ്രീ ആദീശ്വര സ്വാമി ടെമ്പിൾ പുതിയടം The Pratishtha here is Shri 1008 Rishabhanada Tirthankara, the first among the 24 Tirthankaras. This temple is situated about 8 km from Manandavadi town. It was constructed in the year 1987. and Panjagalyana Pratishtha Mahotsava was conducted in June of the same year. Sri Pashanada Swami Temple, Anjikuma Pradishtha of this temple is Shri 1008 Pashanada Tirthankara, 23rd among the 24 Tirthankaras. This is a newly constructed temple in the year 1996 and the Panjagalyana Pratishtha Mahotsava was conducted in the same year. Jainism as a religion aims to realize mental equanimity which is the essential need of man according to lord mahavira to remain attached to sensuous objects is to remain in the world if mankind is to be freed from mental tensions it is necessary to nurture a detached outlook in life jainism believes that lesser is the attachment greater will be the mental peace The concept of non-violence and the regard for life is accepted by almost all the religions of the world. But none of these religions observes it as minutely as Jainism. The basic problems of present society are mental tension, violence and conflicts of ideologies and faiths. Jainism tries to solve these problems of mankind through its basic principles of aparigraha and ahimsa. If mankind observes these principles, peace and harmony can certainly be established in the present world. J Jinendra